Hi, in this video we're being asked to work out the integer values that satisfy this particular inequality. So, when it says this integer values, what it indicates is that we're going to have to use probably the quadratic formula to be able to solve this because the values of x are going to be decimal values of x. OK, so if we have a look at this very briefly, I can see that I've got positive 13. Well, the two factors of positive 13 are 13 and 1, and I can't add those together to make minus 9. So therefore, it's indicating I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So let's have a look at how we're going to do that. If I write this out, I've got x equals minus b plus or minus the square root a b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, OK? Now, if you're not sure at this point, please do have a look at the playlist on, on uh, the quadratic formula from the channel, OK? So, I've got three values that I need to look at. Value of a, value of b, value of c, OK? Well, a is going to be 1, because it's 1x squared, so a equals 1. B is going to be minus 9, and C is going to be positive 13. And then really, it's just a case of putting this information into the formula and solving it to get the values of X. So let's have a look at that. I tend to use brackets for this because then it means that if I've got minus B, it's minus minus 9. OK, and it just reminds me that I need to make that a positive. Then I've got minus 9 squared, OK? Minus 4 times 1 times 13, OK? And that's all over 2 times 1, OK? So let's then just work through this a little bit more. So I've got minus minus 9. Well, that's going to be positive 9. So that bit is going to be positive 9. Plus or minus. Now, what I tend to do with this is called the discriminant, is that I tend to treat it as two separate calculations because minus 9 squared is the same as saying minus 9 times minus 9, which is 81. OK, and then I've got minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 13 is going to be 52. So it's minus 52 all divided by 2. OK, so I'm in a position now where I can get my two values of x. My first value of x is where x equals 9 plus the square root of 81 minus 52, which is 29, all divided by 2. OK, my second value of x is where it's equal to 9 minus the root of 29, again, all divided by 2. OK, if I pop that into my calculator, what I'm going to get is I've got 7.1925, and I've got x equals 1.8074. So let's have a look at what's happening with this particular quadratic. Bearing in mind, these are the two values of x where it's cutting through the x-axis, OK? So if I drew that, I would draw it somewhere, and hopefully I'm going to give myself enough space here, I would draw it something like that, OK? Where this value here is basically 7.19, dot, dot, and this value here is 1.81, OK? So the integer values, the whole number values that satisfy the inequality are going to be between here and here because we're looking at the values that are less than zero. So it's all of these values are less than zero. So let's go back to our grid or our graph. And we're looking at values that are less than zero. So it's all these values along here. So it's all the whole number values. One of two, three, four, five, six and seven. OK, so all of these values are whole number values between 1.8 and 7.19. OK, so I can write that um, out as something like integers that satisfy. And if I wanted to quote the inequality, I could do. I could write that as x squared minus 9x plus 
13 is less than zero, and those integers that satisfy that are going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay, I hope that's been helpful to you. This is probably about as tricky as it gets, I think, with inequalities. Um, please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Have a look at the other uh, videos in this particular playlist, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.